as a part of learning thursdays we'll be exploring this particular interview question which is nothing but what causes too many dml statements one now in case if you are familiar with apex and you have uh, written some po code you might have came across this error or you might have seen as a best practice saying that too many dml statements 151 in case if you are using your dml statement within your for loop that is where you might get this error or in case your transaction is too heavy where you have too m too many dml statements which is increasing the limit which is crossing the limit which is 150 now what is the new error that goes by too many dml statements one it is not 151 it's just saying one what causes this issue in order to understand this one let's quickly see a component in action so that we would better understand this error and then we can see how can we fix it or how can we avoid that in the future now i am on my salesforce org what i have is i have created an lwc component which has a button which says click me to generate an error let's see what would happen if i click on this button if i click on this button it says get help error occurred too many dml statements one that means when i click on this button it is throwing me an error that we are interested in let's quickly see what is there in this component and then understand what causes this error so for that i'll quickly switch to my vs code to show you what is there in the code and then we'll come back and see how to fix this issue now i am on my vs code in the html page what i have is i have a simple template with a button added variant is brand and label says click me to generate error and on click what i am doing i am calling a function here what is that function that i am calling here it is nothing but handle click that is all i have in the template so whoever clicks on that button which says click me to generate error so this is the function that gets executed where do we have this function we have this function in the js file my component name is error cmp dml repro so this is the js file for it and here i should have that handle click so this is where the method gets called now what do i have in the js file in the js file i have a simple lwc component what it does is the component intention is to call a apex class what is that apex class that i have the apex class is nothing but account service error class and this is a method called update account so let's see what is there and come back here and see what has been written in the handle click so that way we would better understand what is the response that we are getting from this class and how is this component throwing that error now in the class what i have is i have a method called update account and since i am using it as a controller in my lwc component i have written or enabled cache pull is equals to it returns string and what it does it takes a name of an account and it is trying to update something so that is what this method is doing hence i have named it as update account so since i need to do an update i have created a list to capture the account that is going through the update process all right and i am taking a name of the account that has been sent from my js file as a parameter and adding some like parameter adding some basic checks here and finally passing that value to my query so what is this query is doing this query is basically bringing me name account number and industry along with id for the accounts which are matching with the name that i have sent in as a parameter to this method once i have that i am iterating over to that accounts updating the industry value as banking 
adding the account that has the industry value set as banking here in this process and finally i'm checking once the loop is completed i'm checking if this list is not empty then update that list of accounts that are matching with the name all right finally once everything is good i'm returning success here that is what this method this class is doing now in the js file what i'm doing here is i'm calling that method and passing the name as acme i'm passing the account name as acme that is what my js file is doing i'm passing that value as acme so what this uh, account service error would do it would take the acme as a value search for that account if found it would update the value as banking set that value to this list and finally gets updated so that is what is the actual intention so if everything goes fine i'm just printing the console log as result whatever that has been written by the apex class but in the catch block what i'm trying to do is if there is any error i'm just saying error found and i'm serializing i'm stringifying the errors that way we can read it from the console on top of that what i'm trying to do is i'm throwing a toast message saying that get help error occurred and this is the message that gets printed in the error you might have multiple values i just wanted to see what is the message of that error in terms of in simpler terms i just wanted to understand what is the error that is being throwing from my apex class so that is what i'm trying to do here in the js file i have just added it as a record lightning record as a target because that is where i'm adding this component and i'm exposing this component so that way i can add it onto the record page so this part i've already done i've already added that component onto the record page hence you are able to see it so let's quickly i've added a space here so that way it would be looking neat when we are displaying an error let's quickly deploy this component once so that way we would see those changes deploy this to source so it has been deployed let's go back to our salesforce org and see this in action once the page loads i'll click on this button again and hence you see that exclamation marks and the space now everything looks good but why are we getting that too many dml one error so let's see what is there in the debug logs if i open the debug log it is also saying the same error too many dml statements one if i scroll down to the end and look at the kernel limits it says number of dml statements is one out of zero close to the limit so the number of dmls that are available is zero and we are using one hence we are getting this error and what is the error system limit exception too many dml statements one and where it is happening it is happening in the line number 12 where it is account service error class update account so if i go back to the vs code to see what is there in line number 12 you would typically see that there is a update statement on line number 12 let's quickly validate that so if you see there is an update statement on line number 12 that is causing an issue why it is causing an issue everything seems to be good we have added all the things that are needed by why it is saying that dml itself is not available there are zero dmls for us and we are using one dml out of it the answer for that is relies in what is called mutable and immutable concept let's quickly understand what is that and then we'll come back and fix the error that we are seeing what is mutable and immutable mutable data type is those whose values can be changed whereas immutable data type is the ones which the values cannot be changed because of this mutable and immutable concept where whenever we are using wire as a service what we are doing we are basically calling this apex class in the imperative mode from here we are calling this apex method imperatively it is immutable we cannot change the data while using this process we are trying to update a record that we are passing as a parameter to this 
method because of the mutable mutability in nature we are getting that error so there are no dmls that are available to us now what can we do can we not do a dml when we call an apex method imperatively there is a way you can use wire to basically do the get operation so that way you do not get this error in the first place in case if you have to do a dml what you need to do is we need to remove this catchables is equals to so this is making the object immutable so that way we cannot make a change so i have made that change i have removed the cached is equals true and i'll deploy this class once more our class has been deployed let's go back to the salesforce org and test it once more to see if it has resolved the issue or not let's do one thing let's go to the record which has acme to test this out so currently it is set to banking from the previous test let's quickly update it to something else and let's update it to aprils and click on save so it has been updated as aprils here let's go to the this button click on it you do not see any error coming up all right so let's see if there are anything in the logs so nothing is there in the logs even the too many dml error one is too many dml statements one is also not there in the console debug logs so if i refresh this page that is where it is set to banking so that brings us to the end of this video where we have understood what is this too many dml statements one what causes that issue and how to fix it hey guys if you like this video do like share and subscribe to sftc quest